Well, good morning. My hair is completely out of control. It doesn't look like I'm gonna to get to, uh, to go to the salon until at least May sometime. Emily, if you can see this, if you can hear me, feel my pain. So today I'm gonna to keep it super healthy because I plan on making a cake later. So <clears throat> if I'm gonna eat cake, then I'm going to um, have to eat fresh first. Look, what the, what is all of this? Whatever. This is all you need to make some super delicious green beans. I'm gonna start with a pile of very fresh, there's that word again, pile. Italians eat in terms of piles. Uh, we have a pile of fresh green beans. Listen, see, it's still snapping. So much really good. I'm gonna use fresh green beans. I'm gonna use fresh garlic. I'm gonna use fresh ginger. Little red pepper flakes there as well. I'm gonna show you how we make this. It's super simple. But first, as per usual, I forgot something. Okay, I probably should wait and do that. Peel the garlic already. This is a mega hunk of ginger. It seems each time I make this recipe, I add more and more ginger because it's so darn delicious. And if you happen to be suffering from any kind of a cold or a cough or anything like that, make a tea out of it. It's super good. It won't do nothing for COVID-19, so don't do that. What I do is I cut it up in relatively decent sized chunks like this. Can you see that? No, no, you really can't. And then I get one of my very favorite items, my favorite little gadgets that I bought at Amazon from a company. Um, it's just a little hand mixer, chopper. Throw in the three pieces of garlic, throw in the ginger. This also works as a upper body arm workout, by the way. Put that back on and then magically, We can all pretend we're starting the motorboat back in the day. And when you're done with that, oh, look what you got. Isn't that fabulous? That saves a lot of wear and tear on the old, on the old arms. So this is basically what you're gonna need to get this delicious recipe going. Stand by. As per usual, I'm working without a cameraman. Uh, so I've taken my very favorite Meissen pans. We'll get that heated up on the stove. Add a generous portion of olive oil, about this much. Keep this handy because you're gonna use more of this as we go. Once this gets nice and, uh, nice and hot, then we're gonna add the beans. Now I'm putting in raw beans that are not steamed, they're not blanched, they're not boiled, nothing. There's just beans. The reason we're gonna cook them this way is because this is gonna put a nice little uh, brown char, char on the bean, and uh, then we'll cook it as long as we need to. So you'll see, this is a very good way of doing this. You can always tell when the pan is hot enough. Close enough. Now you take your fresh beans and put them in there. You with me? Okay, salt, about that much. I don't bother with black pepper on this one, but I do put in a nice generous amount of red pepper flakes. I like them, they add. Now we'll wait till that gets going. The plan is, oh, the mailman's here. Company. Okay. You hear it starting to make noise. So we're just going to keep doing that a little bit. A little bit, but not too much. The reason is I want to get that brown char on the, on the uh, beans before we go too much further. So I'll let that cook for the most part, and I'll come back in a minute. Stand by. Bad news. This is like a prick tease. The mailman wasn't for me. But there's a lady walking the dog out there. I may hang out the window for a little while. Hmm. Well, let's see if this has gotten any kind of a char on it. Yep, starting to happen. It's gonna be good. Ooh, 
Okay, I turned the uh, temperature down on the beans because I don't want them to burn, but I do want them to char. And while I'm waiting for that, I'm gonna peel one sad potato that I had. Oh, it's a little brown, but whatever. It's the only one I had left. So I hate to see food go to waste. So we'll give that a quick little peel. And what I'm gonna do with this is I'm going to hand cut it into thinnish uh, french fries. And I'm gonna then cook it in my air fryer. Uh, I've done this one other time. It was an epic fail. Live and learn. Hopefully I'll do it right this time. And we will have french fries and green beans for dinner. Okay. You gotta watch the beans so you don't burn them. But once they get to about this point, yeah, they're getting, they're getting a little softer. That's when you put the ginger in. The ginger and the garlic. Woo, I licked my fingers. <clears throat> Spicy. Okay, get that in there. And then carefully incorporate it. I just do it like this. This is why you need good cans. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, that's starting to do very well and it's starting to smell so delicious in here. You know me, smells are important. All right, we're going to cook this until uh, the the beans are to the al dente as much as I like them, you know? Well, that was a fucked up sentence. Let's try that again. Cook your beans until they're as soft or as hard as you like. There, that was better. I don't like them too soft, which is why we're not boiling, we're not steaming. We're gonna cook it this way. And I'm gonna keep cooking until the ginger gets a little brown and crispy. That's how it's really good. Keep adding olive oil as you need it. Uh oh, pepper, red pepper. <coughs> Crap. I added more red pepper. All right. If you need to add more oil, do that. It's all good. And I do need to add more oil. Not much. A little bit. Oh, yummy. Okay, the ginger is starting to brown, which is good. I've turned the gas down a bit, simply because you don't want to burn that. Mm. This particular pile of food will disappear all by myself. Okay, while the beans are doing their thing, I'm going to attempt to cut french fries by hand because I don't have one of those fancy machines that does it for you. But how hard can this be, right? I don't like them too thick. Huh, perfect. All right, these I'm gonna put, I'm gonna season the shit out of them and I'm gonna put them in my rotisserie basket in the air fryer because it's potatoes themselves are not very high in calories at all. It's all the good stuff that comes on them, the oil and the butter and the everything else when you buy them from McDonald's or one of those places. And that's just a heart attack waiting to happen. So I'm gonna make my own. With one little pathetic potato, it's gonna end up being real good. All right, so who needs a fancy thing? Let's cut, that's fine. Well. You like potatoes. Okay, here's what we're gonna do with that. The beans are cooking brilliantly. I probably should have done this the other way because this will take a little longer to cook. <laughs> so if I gotta wait a little to eat, who gives a shit? All right, take your beautifully julienne fries and throw them in a bowl. And you don't need much, but I'm gonna take a little bit of cooking spray. Boom, that's it. Get that spread around because you're gonna need a little bit of oil to make this good. And then salt, as much as you want. Yeah, whatever. And then I love this spice. I don't know how to say it. T-A-J-I-N, it's a really delicious Mexican seasoning. 
and I use this on fresh fruit all the time. I use this on, uh, this is what I use to make chicken wings. It's so good. It's got a little vinegary, spicy taste, not too hot. Cover that, bada boom, bada boom. Okay, ooh, ooh. Oh my gosh. All right, the end. Now, hmm. I didn't think this through. It's been my experience that a lot of, especially young people who are not crazy about vegetables, is because there's no flavor, not a lot of great deal of flavor. We're addicted to salt and flavorings. So I've just added a shit ton of flavor to these beans. And I'm going, oh, beans, excuse me, potatoes. And I'm gonna throw them in this rotisserie thing that is part of the air fryer oven that I value so greatly. Did you buy one yet? Don't make me tell you twice. Close that up. See, that's not a lot, right? Stick it in your air fryer. There's a, there's a slot for it. Uh, I'm doing this without glasses. Oh. Close it up. Turn it on and pick rotisserie. I think that's correct. I'll get you closer to see. That thing is going around very slowly and cooking the potatoes. It says 15 minutes at 370. If I, oh shit. Oops, I'm not using my pick box today. This is almost done. You see how beautiful it is? It's not done yet. So that will go a little bit longer. The potatoes will take 15 minutes to come out crispy and wonderful. Again, I'm not a pro at this, but I don't, I don't see any reason why it work, won't work, right? Alexa, how you doing today, girl? Great, ready to help. She's my bestie right now. Okay. Okay, the potatoes are almost done. The beans are finished. And as a final flourish, in case you're like me and you like sweet and hot together, I put in about this much brown sugar at the very end and just basically melt it around. That sweet and hot and spicy combination. In my world, that's a winning combination. So this is to be done at the very end, because these are cooked to perfection. And it just kind of melts it all together. Really a nice, a really a nice touch. All righty. That's ready to be plated. We're just waiting for the taters. So while we're waiting, what did you do for somebody yesterday? Well, we did something good. I, of course, brought food. I called up a girlfriend and I sang an entire song just because I could. And I miss singing terribly, I really do. Yeah, she likes it too. She's my only audience so far. So, what did you do? If you didn't do anything, okay, I forgive you. No worries about that, but do something today, okay? Do something today for somebody else. It's good. It'll make you human. It'll keep you human, is what I meant. Let's see if you can see any of this. There's a round basket in there that is turning gently that one sad potato that I had. Um, and this is gonna in turn give us a very crispy, delicious French fry, in theory, because I fucked it up last time. But it looks like it's working. You need this oven. And I'm gonna send you a link to this oven in my posting. Okay. I think those potatoes are done. To be fair, I added three, three minutes to the timer, 15, six, so it cooked 18 minutes. The beans, as you can see, are absolute perfection. In my world, uh, the brown sugar did it for me. And, farted. Nah, fuck it, it's done. Ooh, baby. The air fryer comes with this cute little thing to get your... Ow, son of a... That'll teach me. Glasses. Okay. 
Look at that. Just the right amount of piles <laughs> of French fries. Crispy, hot, delicious. Look at that. One fry, one potato. How could that possibly be bad for you? One lousy potato, right? Green beans with garlic and ginger, fresh, and brown sugar and red pepper. And homemade french fries without a lot of faguch all over it. It's just a little bit of spray oil and some spices. Listen. Oh my God. The best ever. I have lunch. I have lunch to have. I have no time to talk to you anymore. Can't be done. I have to eat while it's hot. Everybody, keep a good sense of humor with what's going on out there. I think we're looking at another two months of this. When I start singing again, you may not see me for a while, but there's a lot of food that I can make in the meantime. So go do something nice for somebody else today. This is what I could do for you today. If I could, I'd come into your house and make it for you. I can't do that. So you'll just have to think about me eating this pile of food. Bon appetit, everybody.